hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. I would like to thank you so very much for joining me today for this edition of Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram under Stamp with Shell, on Pinterest under Shell Loves to Stamp, I blog daily at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached anytime by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. If you live in Canada and you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Note that I have weekly workshop orders that go in Monday mornings at 9 a.m. Okay, that is all the business end of this. Let's move on and get started with today's card. And today I am featuring Calming Camellia. This is a gorgeous stamp set. I haven't used it yet. We're gonna use it together here live today. We're gonna to make two cards today. And I don't even, I have no direction as to what I'm doing. I've cut a few pieces. I've used the layering circles dies on my card today and <clears throat> I've brought in some in color jewels and we are going to get started I'm going to pull out a couple of stamps as I said I have not used this yet I'm going to pull out this big image I'm going to pull out your in my thoughts today I like that greeting and since we're making two cards, we'll use two different greetings. How about it's the little things that make life great. I like that one as well. It's kind of a different greeting. And I like this too. There's a lovely little swirl here that would do some dressing up. All right, I'm gonna bring in my Stamparatus. And what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp two circles at the same time. And that way, my stamping is going to be out of the way. This is the largest circle from the layering circle dies. And my first image... I am going to stamp in, actually I am going to take a little piece of washi tape and I am going to put it on the back of this, um, on the back of this, or maybe I'm going to take a piece of washi tape, it doesn't want to come off there. Well, good day. There, I got a piece. Alright, I am going to put a piece of washi tape on the back of this so I can hold this in place. Because the stamp image is larger than the surface that we're going to be stamping. So I can't use my magnets. And you'll see here that I am given it a little bit of a wipe and a dry just to make sure that there's no machine oils left on there. Now I'm just going to simply plop this on here like so and go with it. And we're just going to ink this up. I don't know. I might be off camera here a little bit. Let's pull this over. And let's see what we get. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I'm happy with that image. I'm not going to mess with it. Now, I need... 
get this off here without smudging it and set that aside to dry. Now I am going to do the same thing with another circle in a different color. All right, clean that off. These cards are not going to be difficult today. Nothing too much that I do is very difficult. It may look difficult at the start, but if you stick with it, anything I do is pretty simple once we break it down. All right, that looks a little wet still. There we go, I'm gonna use that same tape once again. I'm gonna pop that down, reposition. And this time I'm going to use Fresh Freesia. Isn't that pretty? I think I might give this one more stamp. Bam! That's pretty. Alright, let's clean this stamp off. Lift this up. Set that aside to dry. All right. We are going to put this away. Oh, no, we're not. We have some stamping of greetings to do. So I'm going to, first off, dry this off. And then I'm going to bring in my card front and I'm well, I've got ink on me make sure it won't transfer I'm gonna pop my greeting down in the corner here now because I want this to be straight I'm going to do a test I'm gonna put on piece of plastic and this is just a piece of plastic from one of our stamps and I'm going to stamp down on the plastic oh, that didn't work I didn't put my magnet on that wasn't very smart was it all right let's try it again give me another little magnet Somewhere here I have one. There it is. Let's hold that plastic in place. There should be enough ink on there to see if it's straight. It's a little bit crooked. So let's see if I can adjust. And we'll try it again. I would much rather do it this way. And I think I made it worse. I went the wrong way. Let me pull this plate off for a second. Yeah, I did go the wrong way. All right. We're going to try it one more time. I think we should be good to go. Yep, we are. All right, let's take that off. Let's ink this up and give it a stamp. All right, there is one of our card bases. Now 
I want to change to a different greeting. And a different card base. Let's pull in a new card base. There we go. There's our plastic sheet. We'll pop that over the top. And try this one. Let's ink this one up and have a look. Bang on. I'm happy with that. So we're just going to remove this sheet of plastic and that magnet and re-ink our stamp and give it a stamp. There we go. All right. Now we're going to start putting our cards together. Clean up the stamp, put this out of my way, and we will get going. All right, my first card, I have chosen a basic white card base and paired it with the Fresh Freesia. And then I have a Fresh Freesia layer for a mat that I'm going to center this on. And it's just gonna have a little wee narrow border for just that little hint of fresh freesia around the outside. Just give that a quick press. And now we are going to glue this flat right on the front of our card panel. Here we go. Just like so. Now I have this strip that was left over when I cut my matte layer. So I am going to glue that down to the inside of the card so that we have a little bit of color and hint of decoration on the inside. Now there are some other images in here that you could very easily stamp on the inside. Or additional greetings that choice is yours all right now I cut a scalloped circle the largest the large scalloped circle and the largest regular circle and that's just going to give us just a little wee bit of scallops around the outside of this and I'm just gluing these two together and then I'm going to grab some dimensionals and we're going to pop this up on the front of the cart because the rest of the cart is flat so we will pop this up and I'm just going to pop that right about there and then I have a little bow that I made out of the fresh freezer ribbon and I'm going to grab a glue dot here maybe and we're just going to put that little bow jauntily on the side like so. Then I'm going to grab my paper piercing tool to grab a couple more glue dots. So 
so that I can tame these tails and put them where I want them. There we go. Fluff up our little bow a little bit. And grab some scissors to trim this down just a bit. And for the finishing touch, we are going to put on, where did I put them? Some in-color jewels. And I'm going to need my Take Your Pick tool. And we're going to grab just a few of these to scatter them around the front of the card and just finish it off. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? And then we have the little strip that coordinates on the inside. All right, that's card number one. We're going to move on, put these away, and we're going to do our second card. And for this second card, if you haven't already guessed, I have chosen Rich Razzleberry and Basic White. And I'm just going to hopefully my thumbs right now. Burnish my card base. And for this one, I have a smaller strip of rich razzleberry. Or not smaller, narrower, I guess, than we did last time. And I'm just going to put this on the inside of the card to dress it up just a bit and say, hey, look at me. There we go. Now, on the outside of the card, I have Rich Razzleberry and our panel, but you'll notice that this one's different because I made the borders wider than on the last card. And this way we're gonna be able to take a look and see which one we like better. So we're doing the same but different. That's the theme. Same, but different. There we go. This one too is going to go flat on the card front. I'm sure I got this right. Like. So. There we go. It's the little things that make life great. All right, so once again, I have a rich razzleberry scallop circle to which we will add our stamped image from the calming Camilla. And once again, there's just a very fine Um, scallop that shows. It's not too overpowering. We're going to pop this one up on dimensionals as well. And when it comes to the embellishment for this card, I had to go into the archives to find things that would coordinate with this because currently we do not have anything in Rich Razzleberry. So I went and I found two different ribbons that were from days gone by. There was this one here that is called, let me find it here. It just says Rich Razzleberry. Rich Raz oh, Rich Razzleberry Stitched Edge Ribbon. And then this one is called Rich Razzleberry Cotton Ribbon. Well, I don't like this. I don't think it matches. 
So we're going to go with this one. I think that one looks better. And once again, I'm going to go into my glue dots. And we're going to attach this ribbon. Right here. And we'll zhuzh, zhuzh it up a little bit. So it loses some of its flatness. And once again, I'm going to use more glue dots to tame my tails. And put them where I want them. There we go. Bring in the ribbon scissors. Give it another trim. There we go. Now, for embellishments for this one, I could use, easily use um, basic rhinestones. Easily, very easily. However, I went into the archives and found these candy dots. These are from many, many moons ago. And I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use them. So I'm going to. And there is that one. Now, let's move this stuff out of the way. We'll bring in our stamp set and we will bring in our two cards and I will hold these up closer to the camera and you can decide which one you prefer. I think they're both lovely. Uh, I think I prefer the wider matte layer as opposed to the narrower. That's my personal preference. And I think I prefer the darker image to the lighter one. But I think they're both pretty. And I mean, it just depends on who you're giving it to. If the person you're giving it to likes pastels, then this would be your go-to. So this is from the In Colors. This is from the Regals. This is Rich Razzleberry. All right. Thanks so very much for joining me today. Um, if you are interested in earning the Calming Camilla stamp set, you can have a, a book party. Um, you can invite all your friends and they can um, place orders. And once you get to, let me have a look here. Once you get to, um, $375 in orders, this is free. Yep, free. And free is always good. So just, you know. Give that some thought. If you'd like to do that, give me a shout and uh, we'll get you set up. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.